about how Brunswick County will spend millions in grant funding for their drug court treatment program. Drug court is an alternative to criminal punishment for people with substance use disorders. Courts allow people to enter a long term treatment plan to hopefully break the cycle of drug abuse. WECT's Ashley Balsavius went to treatment court today and spoke with county officials about how this funding will help those who struggle with substance abuse. Ashley, what will this funding be used for? Zach, the money will be spread out over five years and most of it will go to paying for therapy and medicines for high risk individuals. And I'm told it will go a long way. For people who struggle with substance abuse, treatment can be the difference between life and death. Sometimes that treatment comes from a drug court which can have a much bigger impact than the alternative. If you are in this treatment program, you're going to be in prison. Raymond Wood is the director for the Brunswick County Drug Treatment Court Program. He says this is not a get out of jail free card. It's a pathway to a better future. We want to put individuals back into the community with skills, skills to be able to overcome their addiction. That doesn't happen when someone struggling with substance abuse goes to jail without addressing the underlying problem. If they've suffered from a trauma and never really dealt with that, we try to provide them a different types of trauma treatment so they can deal with that trauma or deal with whatever may be causing them to get into the substances. But the recovery process is not cheap. That's why those in Brunswick County are grateful for a $2 million grant to help the treatment court run for another five years and maybe longer. I think treatment court is an amazing addition to the recovery environment. And I think if anything, maybe we should increase access for clients. Mental health and substance abuse therapist Julie Simmons knows firsthand the impact the new funding will have on those who need help. I have yet to see one client that completed the process not be thankful for the program and not say that this program saved their life. And the hope is compassion over punishment will help save even more lives. In addition to paying for treatment, I'm told the rest of the funds will go towards salaries for court employees and other expenses. And Wood told me they're thankful to the county manager and commissioners who have provided them with supplemental funding. Almost $200,000 is a backup if they go over budget. All right, Ashley Balsavius in the studio tonight. Ashley, thanks. A man who was accused of fake.